first it was um, the telegraph in the form of Morse code. And then it was our sound waves had to travel on a physical line. And so phone service around the world had to travel on a physical line. And the sound wave took up a lot of room on the physical line. And it was really expensive to travel. In order for us in, in America, all let's say London, they had to they had to put a line under the ocean. There, there are huge pipes in the ocean that sound waves were traveling on. And in, in, in 25 years ago, the average person, depending on where they lived in the world, had a hundred to $200 phone bill, which was mostly long distance. Okay. And that long distance service was limited by a physical phone line. Sound waves were trapped on a wire. And long distance was so expensive that they were both paying for it. So if you were in Sydney and you called somebody in Brisbane, both people were paying for long distance. It was crazy. There was no, it, it was a monopoly and everybody's bills were really, really expensive. How much do people pay for long distance today? Yeah, like zero dollars. This is really important that we understand this and we can communicate this because this idea, when you communicate this, this will explode people's minds. This is real. So how we freed sound waves from a wire is we converted it into data. By converting the sound into ones and zeros, those data packets could fit on the, pot, the wire much faster. They could move faster and they could stuff more data on those wires than sound waves. And so virtually overnight, over a couple of years, long distance came down uh, every single year in price. And now that we have more data, it's free. And, and, and we, don't, we aren't limited to using wires anymore. We can use satellite. We can use cellular networks. Like the data literally can move. It's like the multiverse, right? If you've ever seen the movie Wreck-It Ralph, or Ready Player One, instead of moving back and forth into video games, you're moving back and forth through distribution channels. You, it can move from a hard wire to a satellite network, to a cellular network, to an internet connection. And so, and so if, there's one, if there's one channel that's congested, the packet can just be rerouted and everybody can send data around the world for virtually free. If you had told somebody 25 years ago, that they could that 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 they could, in New York that they could call Hong Kong for free and send their voice for free to Hong Kong and in fact actually see a video in the size of their hand and there was no wires they would think you were talking about the Jetsons right when the Jetsons would do voice calling and face calling that idea was so futuristic it only existed in sci-fi and cartoons Think about that. And yet it happens every day and we don't even think about it. It's like our kids don't even, don't even know what a home phone is. Sound waves were trapped on a wire. Because they were trapped on the wire, people paid $100 to $200 for moving sound around on that wire. Okay. This is exactly the same. It's exactly the same, right? Both technologies are the same. Electricity was born just a little while after the telephone. They were basically created during the same period of time. They're both 100 years old. They're both trapped on the wire. They were both expensive to move around. Okay? This is literally what this project is going to do. Through the process of mining green, through that software application, through a node, through the technology that is inside of a green node. And even by mining Bitcoin, mining Bitcoin does this too, if that all of us can't mine Bitcoin. You need hundreds of millions of dollars to play that game today, right? We can take electricity, that has a cosine. Electricity is just like sound 
It has a, it has a cosine wave. It has a wave to it. Electricity travels in a wave of energy, just like sound wave travels in a wave of energy. And that wave right now is restricted to a physical line. But when we can convert that into data, our data is a green coin. The green coin is data. It's data that used electricity to create it. We can send that data anywhere else in the world and we can convert it back to power by paying our power bill, paying somebody else's power bill. This is how Amazon buys their power. So being in the power business, I have met with the person who buys all of the electricity for Amazon. I have met with him in person and I understand how he does it. He doesn't just pay his power bill. He pays the power company a small service fee to use their lines. And then he buys electricity off the stock market as a reduced price. And he just moves it around the grid to uh, Amazon factories and he saves uh, 50 to 70% against retail. So big companies are already doing this. It's just no one has figured out how to let the average person do this. We have figured out how to let the average person do this. And by freeing the power this way and moving it all over the world this way, we are go I believe we can do the same thing to the electricity bill that we did to the long distance bill. The average long distance bill was $100 to $200 a month around the world. Okay, it was trapped on a wire, we freed it from the wire, converting it to data, it's now free. The average electricity bill is 100 to The electricity is trapped on a wire. Those wires are expiring all over the world. Like there's a lot of problems with infrastructure. Through our business plan that we feel like we can release this year in stages and grow our business plan over the next few years, we believe that we can help the world reduce their um, power costs by 80 to 90 percent and just include it in their data costs. Now, if this was 10 years ago or 20 years ago, there might be resistance. The whole world is standing up and saying, like, just Google it. Italy wants to be 100 percent renewable by 2050, right? States in the United States are saying like Oregon saying, we want to be hundred percent renewable by 2040. So the whole world has an initiative to replace their dirty power systems that are using coal or natural gas or, uh, or oil to use those substances and convert them into electricity.